Well, everybody, John Bornstein here, and this is Cable Lane. Today, we begin a brand new study, one that's probably going to take us quite possibly through the rest of the year, because I want to take you to a wonderful devotional that's really been impactful in my life. It's uh, one from Henry Blackaby, who was a mentor in my life. In fact, while I was at the National Day of Prayer, he took time to mentor a number of us and, and really guide us through the fundamentals of prayer, how to have a prayer life that was strong and, and convicting, one that, uh, that drew us to our knees in a posture of humility before Almighty God, that we really knew how to pray, especially as the days were growing darkened, as chaos was brewing around us. He really spent a lot of time with us on how to, how to guide us through praying. And, and so I want to take you through a devotional that he gave me. And uh, it's one that's quite old now. It's many years removed from maybe some of you even watching this. You may not have even heard of it, but it's called Experiencing. God day by day. And in this particular devotional, this is probably the book that really put him on the map. Uh, he gives us these really short guides on a daily basis, kind of like a daily bread. And, and so I want to take you to today's. Today's is titled, Truth is a Person. Now, in this particular study, he wants us to put our attention on the fact that truth is not just a concept. Truth is is in Jesus Christ, John 14, 6. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Now, you can imagine that there were a number of circumstances that the disciples faced in which there was a great peril in the moment, uh, perhaps angry crowds or individuals who sought to kill them, and yet there was a calmness in Jesus Christ. The, the circumstances, though they appeared to be overwhelming, Jesus was always the calm in the midst of the storm. In one particular verse that Henry Blackaby cites here, it's in Luke chapter 8, verses 24 to 25. We read, And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was calm. But he said to them, Where is your faith? Now, when you read a text like that, here were very capable fishermen, many of them in the boat, and, and they were looking at the circumstances. Their situation seemed to dictate fear. That was their natural recourse, that it appeared that they were going to die. Master, we are perishing. There was no other way. They were going to die in that storm. That's what the, the, the variables of the data they were collecting through their emotion told them what was going to happen. That was the outcome. But the Lord, in a calm matter, in a, in a way about him, he wasn't provoked by emotion. He wasn't overwhelmed by the circumstances. He demonstrated to them that he even spoke to nature and nature, nature listened to him. Because in Colossians, we read in chapter 1, after all, that he created all things. So he, being the creator of all things, even the wind and the waves listened to him. So he was able to demonstrate great power in the midst of their adversity to show them, if you are with me, who can be against you? And so what a powerful reminder is we are up against the wind and the waves in our culture today. We are told in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, that we've not been given a spirit of fear, but one of love and strength, power, dunamis, and a sound mind, discipline. And when God has given us these things, that we not be shaken by the environment around us, Henry Blackaby ends with this wonderful question to us, have you become fearful instead of faithful? That's a question we all need to ask ourselves because quite frankly, the circumstances in our nation, the uh, unprecedented times in which we live, the uncertainty of it all can really cause an emotional response in us that is not of the ambassador for Jesus Christ. So we have to go back to our roots to say, we are with Christ. And if God is for us, who can be against us? Let us remember that truth is a person. And if you know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, then you are on the side of truth and you're on the side of victory. Be encouraged today, brothers and sisters. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. God bless you.